boy, Hosey. Good boy. Hello, everyone. Marlene McCohen here. Uh, the elephant in the room, I know. I haven't been here for a while, but I'm excited to be here. Here's the thing. Today is my birthday, and I didn't come on to tell you that it's my birthday. I don't really care. But something is happening today that I know you would be very interested in, and I think this is going to be one of those perfect situations for you guys to learn from, love, and enjoy this story. It's kind of a sad story, um, but it happens all the time. So, uh, instead of me just kind of, you know, doing what I do and helping birds, I thought that it's best if I share this with you. So what's happening today is there is a bird coming in who has been with his owner for 30 years. His owner is now moving into a nursing home. Um, I don't know if it's a nursing home or like an elderly care home. I'm not sure, but she's going on to that next phase of her life where she cannot bring her bird. She lives in Florida. I was reached out to from El Dodd from Hope for Paws and he said, I have a friend that his mom has a bird and we need some help. We don't know what to do. At least give him some advice on what to do or where to take the bird. One option was a sanctuary in Florida. But the thing is guys, a lot of these sanctuaries, they do great work with birds. And I hope this more so encourages you to help sanctuaries and donate. A lot of them are individual people that have opened up, you know, a 501c, uh, you know what it is and they need help and they end up with tons and tons of cages there's nothing in the state or in our cities that you know lends itself to helping birds there's no laws for these parrots because they're considered like invasive in a lot of states here in California they're called introductory species which is an amazing thing but still, that doesn't mean like we have shelters and all sorts of things for dogs and cats, but there's really nothing for birds. So a lot of these individuals end up with so many cages and they're just the best place for the birds because they're going to do no harm to the bird. They're going to make sure the bird's taken care of and fed and everything, but that doesn't guarantee the bird like a beautiful free life like they were used to. So... It's been months, it's been like five months since I heard about this bird and uh, I kind of said, look, if you're willing to bring the bird from Florida to here, I will help find this bird a new home and consider keeping it part of my flock, but I didn't tell George that part. Um, the lady made a beautiful video about the bird. This is Jose. Jose is a yellow nape parrot and he is about, well, we don't know for sure how old he is. Um, we've had him for a little over 30 years, so he's probably about 40. He's a very sweet parrot, and uh, he loves to have his head scratched. Don't you, Jose? Want your head scratched? Oh, yeah. This is what he loves to do. Anytime I feed him in the morning, he's right over there with his head up against the cage for me to scratch him. He talks a little bit, not very much. He says hello several different ways. He says, Ariba, Ariba. He says, Pitbull. <laughs> Don't know where he got that. And uh, that's about the end of his vocabulary. But he's a sweetheart and he likes to sit on shoulders and but he really likes his cage that's his home isn't it jose 
Is that your home? Huh? Yeah. Because I guess, like, all you can do is pray that your baby gets a home after you. And these birds outlive so many people. So this bird's been with his owner for 30 years. And this morning at 4 a.m., he was taken from his home by the son who loves the bird and is doing an amazing, amazing job worrying about the bird. I should probably back up. So I was contacted by the son, Brew, who really cares for animals and wants to do everything possible for this bird. And I said I would possibly, you know, bring him here. Um, but I thought about it in these five months, I was looking for anybody that might be a potential good home. A lot of you think that I have like unlimited amounts of people that I can, you know, help you guys find kind of homes for your birds. But the truth is not many people are great with birds and all my friends that have birds have too many. But I found a great home for this bird potentially. The bird's not gonna go there today. We're gonna get to know the bird. I haven't even set anything up for the bird. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, yeah, the main thing here today, my main goal is to make sure that this bird has comfort. A lot of parrots go through a lot of trauma when they feel like they're getting abandoned or they're losing the person they love. Luckily, he knows the son, so he knows he's in good hands. But at some point when this bird comes here, he won't be seeing Brew anymore. So I'm going to try to be that level of comfort for the bird as the bird makes this transition. Even though I do have a home for the bird, the reason I'm not gonna be taking the bird right over there today is because, first of all, I wanna get to know the bird. I wanna get to know its personality. I wanna make sure the home I have for the bird is perfect. And I wanna make sure that I learn everything I can to translate this info of what they need to know about the bird. Steady. Okay, you want to go here? You can go on my shoulder. Come here. There we go. Now, my dad, who passed in December, what he used to do is he would lay, good boy, Jose, good boy. He would lay this way and he would press himself in and like mate with my dad. He really loved like being on my dad's shoulder. And he would eat all my dad's buttons, he'd crack them in half, and then he would start chewing on his shirt. He's a good boy. Hi, Jose. So it's Hosey? Hosey, or Jose, Hosey. We usually call him Hosey. Because I heard Hosey. your mom say Jose. Yeah, the but we usually, they usually call him Hosey. Hi, Hosey. Hi, Hosey. Well, I'm impressed. He's just so calm. and Like, he's never been not calm, but, you know, this has been a very stressful day for him. That was a 14-hour travel day. He seems to be doing really well. Uh, I think so. I think right? so. Do you want to <laughs> take him? You want to step up, baby? Oh, oh, good boy. Good boy. Hi. Good boy. <laughs> oh, look at you. You sniff so good. Oh, mm, I love you. You're so cute. Are you so cute? <laughs> oh, you smell so good. He's really a human Do you want a head scratch? Or would my nails be scary for you? Do you want to see? You know, there was a point in my dad's life where it always took him out, right? And, and not always, but a lot he was out. And then it became less and less. And I felt like he missed that sort of attention. You so, know? as you're saying that, George was inching closer to me. Because he's like, oh, it's a guy's bird. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me too. I can feel it. 
You want to come? Give me the other hand. The other hand. He likes the other hand. He likes the other hand. You want to come? Wow. Yeah. You're very observant. Good, good call. They have like, yeah. See they not have, how like, hands they like more They do, it. and a lot of them tend to want to go. It's, it, they're it's hard to explain. It's not necessarily that it was this hand, but it was this hand now. Gotcha. I don't know how to explain that. It's you like, can see I can see the decisions. behavior in yeah, the decisions in every single bird and where they're going to want to go from where they are. This bird, I'm like, oh, it's going to be traumatized. It's leaving. And they are like, they love their people. But if they're going to somewhere where they can get real warmth right away, mm -hmm. then we can ease that transition. Yeah. He loves my mom very much. Yeah. You can, I mean, it, don't get me wrong like he can be so happy now loving us but he will feel like the yeah, loss yeah i i'm sure what is your problem you <laughs> love him already but like i you came here for i'm the bird whisperer oh, what? you're sweet what are we gonna do if it's a guy's bird okay. it's supposed to be for alex this one who's that pretty bird in there that's you. That's you. That's you. Okay. I know you guys are going to ask. Um, I didn't get the reaction of Brew leaving the bird, but he was very emotional, understandably so. But you're doing good. Today, I brought Hosey to the office. He kind of turned down a lot of food, but he drank some water. Today I can tell that he's missing his mom because I had to go run a quick errand and he didn't want to step up to me. Maybe he was just comfortable, but he had like a cry. However, I left him in here on his stand looking out the window. When I came back, he stepped right up to me. So I know he missed me. He knows that I'm like... I wouldn't go so far as to say he missed me, but he probably was uncertain and somebody he does feel comfortable with came back. Mm -hmm. Oh, who's that? That's you. Okay, guys, update on Hosey the bird. So I've been really anxious a little bit because I didn't get to see Hosey eat a lot. Um, when I give Hosey a peanut and things like that, Hosey does eat, but I can tell that the bird is stressed just from the change obviously sometimes when i give the bird things that i know that this bird specifically would love the bird throws them at us so i'm pretty excited because i'm here making a bagel getting ready to do our podcast um i really hope i'm not going to be late and the bird ate the bird is eating so i'm really excited about that um you know this is a life change for a bird I don't expect the bird to love me and want to be best friends with me. What I am trying to do is make sure the bird spends as much time with George as possible. Just because the bird does seem to find a lot of comfort in George. So I'm actually trying not to get too close while the bird is eating just because I don't want the bird to stop. But as you can see, it's not going to be great video, but as you can see, Hosey's eating. You know, I'd go right up to a bird for any reason all the time it's just I don't want I want this bird to eat I need to make sure this bird eats that's something you have to be aware of and pay very close attention to when you have a bird like this this bird right now hasn't spoken yet hasn't made a noise like it could be really easy to kind of ignore the bird and forget you have a bird I mean that happens you know and that's where people are like okay the novelty's worn off but what you don't realize is that every day they get more and more family oriented, more and more. I mean, some of them have to go through this trauma first, uh, this grievance period, then the period of acceptance and the period of opening up. And then they start doing all the crazy things that you never thought this bird would do. Like Vinny dancing. Vinny didn't do that when we first got him. Could have been years before I realized he did that, honestly. <laughs> One day. I was just sitting here. 
And he started walking up to me. <laughs> he went right up his arm. <laughs> he went up my arm. I didn't know what to do. You point. don't understand, Kenny. This bird, like, is really sad because it had an owner for 30 years and she's going into a nursing home. Okay. And so, so you just got this bird. Yeah, like, and the bird's, like, kind of picky and kind of not wanting to eat and stuff. I did see the bird eat this morning. But, like, he, he, he or she tends to, like, guys. Mm. So I put the bird here, and I'm like, I really just hope it bonds with someone today because it needs soothing. I've never seen, what, is that a bird? What do you think it is? I've never seen a bird that big, except for pigeons. That kind of looks like a, the body of pigeons a pigeon. Pigeons are not this big. This is the same kind of bird as Leo, but a different right, species. Right, but his, like, he ate Leo. <laughs> He's really big. He won't. He won't want to come to me. Watch. See? Oh, you see that? Yeah. What but the he, hell is that? A cat? Oh what? <laughs> but he would. I know. I know. Kenny. What? Uh, what do I do? Take him with me? Where are you going? Home. <laughs> <laughs> so Chuck, I have to go to lunch. Can you babysit? Um. Yeah. I mean. What time are you going? No. Hello? Oh my god. The bird he is talking. Hello? Hello? Oh, what's the date today? Is it the 5th? Hello? You're what? What'd you say? Hello? Were you showing off all your sounds today? Today, sweetie, yeah, we're happy today. Do you want to step up? Do you want to step up? You busy talking? Can I sniff you? Oh. Oh my God, the bird's like putting its face on you. Look, it's so warm too. Oh my God. Like, his name is Jose. Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. it's like mm, she speaks Spanish. I know it. She told me about pasta. She told me about beans. All the things I want to hear. <laughs> yeah, I heard you make tacos. <laughs> she's like, some beans. she's Come like, on. they've been giving me vegan things. So, what's going on? We're taking this Latin. <laughs> okay. Give me some uh, Latin food. Why, you think the bird's hungry or what? Yeah, needs to come try some of Fetzer's cooking. Oh, you smell good! Mm -hmm. Look at Ty. Ty's like, what the hell is going on here? You like this bird? So, uh... So basically, my brother sees the bird, and then Sio's like, Sio's like, I wonder if he'll get along with Lucy. And my brother goes, Why did you ask a question like that? Cause that's what he was thinking, but I was saying it. How would you handle like four birds? Stealing the bird. See you later. Oh, you heard. <laughs> bird. Bye. This bird's 45. We're bringing him for the experience. He's gonna tell us stories. <laughs> Bye, Bye. Bye, Ty. What year was it born? I don't know. I'll find out. Get back to letting them know what's going on here today. Yeah. People can see you. Can I get the something. pizza ready, guys? Can I just do the vlog? I just want to let you all know on my birthday some piece of advice. Anything you try to do in life, there's going to be a block. Wait, I'm your block? No, 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 no. You're not my block. You're like both. You're like the, the thing that gives me. I, I am your block. No, I just I went and got you a battery. <laughs> what block is that, okay? I just released your blocks. No one's talking about you. I confirm. 
that the person that just came by is not the block. Sometimes the best person in your life can also be the block, and what you have to do is work around that. Blocking her from being able to How do anything. How about if you're going to be in a vlog, George, you at least put your head in the frame? I don't need to because they're getting fun <laughs> on this. They're enjoying this right now. <laughs>